and looking for the next cute and charming film, well, this one might be for you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing The Secret Dare to Dream. This film stars the likes of Katie Holmes, Josh Lucas, and Jerry O'Connell, and it's directed by Andy Tennant. Now, I didn't know much going into this. I got the screener, and I said, okay. I'll watch it, and it's about a widow struggling to get by who meets a stranger who subscribes to a philosophy of positive thinking, which in reality, that is something that I think many of us in this time and day and in this world, we really need that positive thinking, and A Secret Data Dream is not a bad movie. It's a cute little movie that's charming, and it might be a little bit predictable, well, actually a lot of predictable, and in elements of its whole thing, you know, it feels like a basic movie that you've definitely seen before, but I think it's one that many people will come across and have fun with and in general feel charmed with and really it puts a smile on your face and I can definitely add that aspect to this whole entire film. But if you guys are new here though and you guys love early movie reviews hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on content like this over here on a daily basis as well as comment down below and let me know your guys thoughts. Are you guys excited for this film? Are you not? Have you even heard about it? Let's discuss it. And with this film let's just get into the performances you know again this is a very generic movie that we've seen before cute charming that's what you're gonna get but Katie Holmes, Josh Lucas, and Jerry O'Connell definitely are the big stars of this and let's just really jump in to Josh Lucas's character who I thought was just absolutely charming he's a you know he's a good guy and he's the one that really brings about this positive thinking towards Katie Holmes' character. And again, the way he was able to emphasize that, you know, we've seen it before from him, but he's just a really good actor at being able to emphasize all those points. And Katie Holmes jumping in her character, she is someone special. You know, we like Katie Holmes. She's a great actress. And she dives into this and, you know, you kind of forget that it's even her. You look at her and you're like, ah, oh, this widow is struggling. You want the best to come out for her and her family. It just seems like at every left and right turn, nothing is turning out to be the best possible thing for her and this film dives into certain aspects of her life what does she what should she do with her family what happens when something tragedy strikes with the family what happens when your house is destroyed in general what happens if like your boyfriend you're dating at the time she's dating jerry o'connell in this film maybe isn't the best person for you those aspects all kind of tie into the thematics of this film and i'm not saying this film is like the deepest thing ever but the themes are all right in front of you and i think again that positive thinking and that philosophy of having positive thinking is sometimes what we should be doing i know in my life i sometimes get into that part where i'm like ah you know, I'm always down on myself, blah, 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 but I need to get more positive because you never know where that can lead. And positive minds lead to positive thoughts, I think. And positive thoughts can lead to positive results. And this film really emphasizes that enough and kind of re emphasize that inside my brain. And as a film that, you know, is going to have those philosophies, it's a nice one of that. It's one that can charm your pants off. It's one that can definitely, again, doesn't do too much new with the genre, doesn't change anything. It, it wasn't setting out to. This is a generic little film that's going going to do that stuff and put a smile on your face and it did that for me. And I think the whimsical performances here are a part of what aspects really make this film stronger is that. I think without these performances, this film kind of would have fell in the more generic route. Even think many people who do end up watching this will be taken back by the story and the messages throughout it, just like how I was affected kind of throughout this whole entire film from those. And those are the things that stuck out to me the most. And adding into that aspect, yes, this does feel like kind of like a Lifetime movie. And those Lifetime movies can be entertaining. They're not made to be the next cinematic greatest masterpiece and they shouldn't be. That's not what they're setting out to be. They're setting out to tell a little small story that will maybe affect someone's life. And I look at it this way. When you're watching a movie, even if you don't like it, or in general, I, you know, I just think this is a generic movie, there's gonna be someone out there in this world who this turns out to be their favorite film of all time. And I understand that. There was an earlier film earlier this year called I Still Believe, which I was not a fan of, but I know many people were fans of I Still Believe, and I understand why they would be. And I think there will be many people kind of around the same ballpark for for this film as well. I right, give you some final thoughts on the secret dare to dream. Make sure to comment down below. And let me know your guys thoughts. Are you guys excited for this movie? Are you not? Have you heard about it? Have you been looking forward to it? Let's discuss it. Hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on content. Early movie reviews like this over here on a daily basis. Alex, guys, head on over to Sam Sean Films on how to see films early. And of course, she's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Your dare to dream again. It's a cute film. It's one that's predictable and it's charming at every single turn, but might not change the genre all too much. In fact, it's 
yeah, it's predictable. But with whimsical performances, many will be taken back by the story and messages in here. The philosophy of positive thinking will affect someone out there just like it did for me. For all, this is an adorable little film. There's not much more about it. Yes, again, it's super generic. It's predictable. There's not much more to say about it from that angle. And you're going to walk out having fun with this one, all that. So with all that said, I'm going to give this film a C+. Plus. You know your guys' thoughts on this film? Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it down below. Guys, thank you guys again so much for watching this. And of course, until next time, stay classy. Thank you.